Let's pivot now to Shrek 2. It is the sequel that arrived three years later in 2004. Three minutes longer than the first Shrek. One hour three and minutes 33 <laughs> minutes. Uh, it's an animated adventure comedy just like the first one. Uh, and the IMDb synopsis goes, Shrek and Fiona travel to the kingdom of far, far away where Fiona's parents are king and queen to celebrate their marriage. When they arrive, they find they are not as welcome as they thought they would be. Uh, directed by Ad Andrew Sa Adamson again, uh, Kelly Asbury and Conrad Vernon. Uh, we have Mike Myers, Eddie Murphy and Cameron Diaz reprising their roles. And joining the cast is Antonio Banderas as Puss in Boots. We have Rupert Everett as Prince Charming, Julie Andrews as the Queen, John Cleese as the King and Jennifer Saunders as Fairy Godmother. Pardon me, the IMDb score is 7.2. The Metascore is 75. And the Rotten Tomatoes for this one, gents, take another stab. 80. 83. 89. 1% oh, higher closer. than the first film. But the audience really? score, importantly, 69%. Much lower than the oh, 90 wow. they gave for the first film. So Maybe uh, people, yeah, it's the sequel-itis. Like, animated sequel. I've noticed, I've noticed this. Uh, animated films, like, okay, so we all love Lion King, right? Of course. How do we all feel about The Lion King 2? It's a fine film. Yeah, okay. So Aladdin it holds its own, yeah. Aladdin. How do we feel about it? Aladdin 2? Like, yeah, the King of Thieves, the they're just, they're terrible. They are, they are yeah. objectively terrible films. Yeah, so I feel like that's, uh, that's the type of mentality. Oh, that's the type of mentality I have. I was even, like, watching uh, Frozen 2 of Trepidation, you know? I was like... Mm, and you know, at the end of it, Frozen Two, the first song was better. Into yeah, the unknown. Yeah, definitely. Twiggy, anyway. thanks for joining us. How are you? Um, yeah, no, I think for the most part, like uh, the rare are the, the the cases in which animated sequels are stronger than their first. Like I love How to Train Your Dragon Part Two, but I think I was just about to bring that up. Yeah, number one still really strong. Kung Fu Panda Two, you know, really good as well, mm. but you know, better than the first. I'm not sure. I might say. Toy Story 2 better than the first I yeah, think those I'd... films get stronger I would say uh, to me 3 is the best 4 yep. I'd probably put on the same level as in between like 1 and 2 um, mm. yeah Cars yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Barrett's Toy Story 3 broke me you and you and me both my friend oh man oh, I, was I was sitting in the cinema sobbing in the cinema as a 20 year old 21 year old just <laughs> yeah anyway let's not get into it we I'm should do toy story next. Is like what are you doing we should do the toy story Ooh. quadrology next um ask mm. him to his defo better than the first not not animated but i will agree with you carly ask him to go to much better i haven't seen him i don't think i next we week not, I... <laughs> we are not doing it that's gonna be <laughs> Jason, like the, why the why do you hate fun? Why do you hate <laughs> the same reason why I don't want to play uh what's that other game you keep playing getting me not Pikmin, what's the other one? With like pinatas. Viva Pinata. Viva Pinata's fantastic! Best rare game ever made. Oh, That's my hot take. Anyway, back on topic. <laughs> Shrek 2. Um I remember like okay, so as a as a kid, I don't remember um like sequels like being it hadn't clicked with me as like as a, like a i mean outside mm. of video games really um because i wasn't like huge into movies i watched like mostly animated uh films as a kid right um and so the idea of a sequel was like this particularly with films was like a novel thing and particularly one that was going to release into the cinema to our point earlier we had you know simba's pride um for for lion king but nowhere near as good as the first one and didn't release cinematically at least i don't think it did i didn't see the cinemas if it did but um i remember like seeing the poster for shrek 2 which is just the two in the shrek style with the ears um mm. it's on the imdb page which i'll link in chat right now um but yeah i remember being so hyped for shrek 2 and yeah. um i i like any day of the week i might put it above the first one i think laughs per really? minute it is so much stronger than the first film um and i love just like the the, the chemistry between all the characters i think all, all the performances are absolutely nailed particularly jennifer saunders as a fairy godmother um mm -hmm. they fit in like so much more adult humor into this one as well oh so much um, and it's just it to me, it's it's one of the most underappreciated films 
of uh, my mm. lifetime honestly like that's no yeah. exaggeration but anyway enough raving from me scott i'll, I'll go to you you, you first so shrek yeah, 2 when I, you think I, back on it yeah where do you land with this one i echo those those statements as well like i think i like shrek 2 better than shrek 1 and not because i, I don't think shrek 1's a great movie i just think like Shrek 2 knew what it wanted to be, mm. where Shrek 1 was kind of a little bit all over the place. Was it like a romantic film? Was there was it a parody of, of fairy tales and Disney with just spoofs and parodies put in there? It wasn't quite, you know, we want fart jokes every five minutes. <laughs> you know, kind of, it was all, a bit all over the place. Great movie, great film, love it to death. But you know, Shrek 2 just, it kind of, it found its platform and it knew what it wanted to be. It was great. And I'm a big, um, big John Cleese fan as well, so. Yeah, and Jennifer Saunders, like I love, like Jennifer Saunders just does this great job of of being the weird characters, not quite side characters, but I think you know her and um, Dawn French in Cor uh, Coraline as well. I just I love that was movie she? as well. So yeah, it was Dawn, French and Saunders in um they were the two uh, like the 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 trapeze circus acts in Coraline. I can't remember the names off the top of my head. Oh um mm, mm, yeah, we'll get back to that. Yeah. Yeah, I, I love it. Like I always think every time I see Shrek in human form, I think Wreck It Ralph. I think they're the same person. <laughs> so I, I get a bit of a giggle out of that. But yeah, it's it's I, I just think Shrek 2 is better because yeah, like I said, I think it found its platform. I think it knew what it wanted to be from the franchise. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen I haven't seen three onwards yet because I'm terrified. Mm. It, it's just gonna spoil it for me. But yeah, I think I... yeah, certainly up there. The numbers, the the Jennifer Saunders uh, yeah, Jennifer Saunders number. Need to hear yeah, yeah, yeah uh, it was the rendition of I Need a Hero. Yeah, uh, I want to get to you uh, in this moment, Jason, but I want to know from chat, yeah. like, what, which do you think is better, Shrek 1 or 2? Just one, type 1 or 2 in the chat. Uh, I just want to see where where the sort of the consensus lands. But Jason, Shrek 2, how Oof. do you feel about, about this one? Yeah, I mean, so there are so many, th I've obviously watched Shrek 1 uh, a lot more than Shrek 2. So there are so many things that I'm like, oh yeah, this happened. Like when they're like pulling into Far, Far Away, um, watching all of the the different shops, like um, what was that? Oh, like Javachery, like yeah. uh, the um, Burger Prince, and oh, it's just it was like there's so many like little references that I kept. I was like, ah, ah, ah. Um, it was it was cool. Uh, a lot of laughs and a lot of like a lot of the time I was sitting there listening to voices. Like, wait a second, who's that? And who's this? I for like I forgot it was John Cleese and like I don't care who you are if if someone told me that um Julie Andrews was an actual queen or a princess I'd believe them like it's just if you know someone if I died and I got to heaven and Morgan Freeman was god I'd be like yep right I knew it, <laughs> <laughs> knew it. makes sense <laughs> yeah oh man the the amount of times uh, I was laughing in this um was really good but that but then it also had like a number of those moments where i just went oh like oh really why? yeah and like in the in the like the some of the like decisions that people make you know right it's like oh just like just don't don't read the diary you know um that uh, that shrek opens up the uh, and reads and looks through and it's like prince charming and blah 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 and then like why the hell do you i don't oh, hate why don't like, because she just leaves the book on the counter. I'm like, why do you, you just put it away? Oh, anyway, that got to me. Uh, but otherwise, uh, yeah, really cool. I, I love the throwbacks from the first film as well, especially with um, um, uh, Gingerbread Man. It's like, hey, do you still know someone in Drury Lane? And then they go see the Muffin Man. It was awesome. And like all the adult humor. <laughs> Gingerbread well. Man comes back and he's like, Gingy! <laughs> <laughs> like he's returned oh man the um yeah fire uh, up the oven muffin man we've got a big order to fill <laughs> when they um when pinocchio comes down the the prison well amazing the, that scene. <laughs> yeah. the, the, the just, brilliance in that entire scene is just like um oh what does what does puss in boots say or he's just like i too must do this before i go totally mad and then um yeah you see pinocchio goes shrek donkey above and then pussy Bruce looks up looks back down and goes too late <laughs> <laughs> but then you, firstly it's like lighting the dynamite to blow like the steel trap on top and the blind mice strikes it and then falls immediately down the hole 
<laughs> I'm like, he's dead. <laughs> and Pinocchio tumbles down, and the whole thing with the thong are oh, amazing at the time. <laughs> anyway, I want to quickly get, get, quickly get to chat. Sorry. Uh, Ferox, you also note, uh, enjoyed uh, The Incredibles. Uh, that was a good sequel, sequel. I agree. Oh, um, yeah. I think the first one is a masterpiece, but uh, Incredibles 2, very, very strong film. I love that one. Mm. Um, Twiggy votes 2, so does Callie. Uh, Ferox notes Shrek 3, the boys go to Bali. Um, it also <laughs> says one because you can't remember two. Ferox, watch two. It's on Netflix right now. You won't regret it, my friend. Mm. Uh, Solly, welcome, man. Hope you're well. Uh, says two. Um, yeah, had a good game to go with it. Oh, there you go. Didn't we didn't realize that. Uh, and uh, Callie says Julie Andrews supremacy. Dare she say it? Gilf. Um, and uh, Twiggy says the dinner scene painful to watch. In what way do you mean, Twiggy? I love that dinner scene. I think it's. Just, you know, the, the arguments back and forth and, like, the, the pig in the air and it flies down and hits the table just before Donkey goes, Donkey! When they're all <laughs> arguing back and forth. Man, really, really like that scene. Uh, but anyway, you mentioned, like, one of the that those cool moments, um, Jason, with the, the whole Mission Impossible. You've also got, like, the um, like the police TV show oh, yeah, cops. section. Cops. Yeah. where <laughs> <laughs> where um the, you know, the the fairy tale creatures are back at Shrek's place tuning in um and uh and yeah like that uh, puss in boots with the catnip really really funny stuff um yeah. i also yeah. like uh there was one moment that i didn't like pick up on uh when i first watched it it wasn't until i revisited it, like not too long ago a couple of months ago um where shrek and, and donkey wake up after taking the um happily forever after potion or whatever it was called and um and uh, he's realizing he's like holy crap i've transformed there are three uh ladies like fondling over him and one yeah. of the girls uh has fetched him a pail of water and her name is jill jill went down the hill to fetch a pail of water i was like oh my oh. god i did not make that connection until i was 31 years old um, wow yeah. i didn't I, I was this year old to when i figured that out it, it was it was like yeah wow. it was just so such such great detail in this one as well um you mentioned the storefronts jason i love in that final action scene where they uh create is it what's, what do they call him mongo i think is the giant gingerbread oh, uh, sure. creature and um he's like he's like ripping the coffee cup off the starbucks oh yeah, yeah, yeah and then yeah. people people like are scared it's like godzilla or he makes like the godzilla or the jurassic park yeah. uh, t-rex noise <laughs> Then they run out of Starbucks immediately across the road to another Starbucks. No, Starbucks. It's <laughs> <laughs> absolutely brilliant. Uh, yeah, I, and like I, as a kid, you wouldn't pick up on that. That no, would be small funny. Things if you like that you don't yeah. pick up on. Yeah, so brilliant. There, are, like, I could list a dozen moments like these in this film. So, I mean, mm. I've I've got myself hyped up now. I'm gonna have to watch it after this again just to re. <laughs> relive. So, yeah. So afterwards, after we watched it, I was like, you know, let's watch number three. <laughs> we so, jumped straight into it. I haven't seen any any Shrek films past number two, and I remember like just inherently feeling a sense of trepidation when they announced a third one. Like, oh, I'm feeling like they're pushing mm. it here, and I have never been told, Shane, you must watch Shrek the Third or uh, look, Shrek Four for that. Yeah, film. it's it's good. Um, it's worth it to to have that the end, like the bookend, because like spoilers for Shrek, 2, the ending of Shrek Two. So when the king turns into a frog, um, you kind of find out how that goes. You know, does does the frog end up ruling the kingdom or not, or who's ruling the kingdom? And you know, now that Princess Fiona and Shrek are married, that means he's like next heir to the throne, right? So then they kind of explore that and what happens, and Prince Charming's like like a becoming a failed actor and he's like mourning the loss of again spoilers the the loss of his mum because his mum was just like killed <laughs> um at the end of shrek 2 um and he kind of wants revenge and to claim the throne of far far away yeah it's interesting it's interesting okay yeah maybe in a drunken stupor i'll check it out oh um, yeah well, that's okay <laughs> have you it's seen have you seen bad. the third uh, scotty no i've not again i'm lucky i'm just like oh are they are they pushing it uh, I'm bored. like the end of two kind of felt like a good ending. I don't know. I'd love to get your, your opinions on it though, like because I remember as a kid watching yeah. the ending, it's like, oh, it's such a cliched ending. This is, this doesn't make sense. What's happening? Like it didn't tie up. And then watching it as a doll with you recently, Bailey, I was just like, 
that's great. Like it all, it all fits in. Like the whole, uh, the the fairy godmother has a has a hatch, and she's using the king as bait, and well, not as bait, but like as a, as a decoy and as in a perfect switch, and using him for her nefarious needs. And it just it really worked. I loved how it finished. As much as I love the movie, the, the, the finish I think is what made me like the movie mm. more than the first one. Yeah. Well, yeah. Let's talk the, about that final action scene, Jace. You mentioned. Mm. Um, I'll, I'll start with like you know uh, Mungo, the giant gingerbread man, and um, the that he they're approaching like the the outer wall um, or the mm-hmm. moat of far far away kingdom, and he's pulling down the drawbridge, and they're um they're like, they're frothing all this milk to pour on him, and then yeah. like they they. they they tip the the giant cauldron, uh, and <laughs> Mungo like tilts his head up, and he's got like this, <laughs> like a perm of um of foam, and uh and the, the the guard or whatever turns back and it's like more heat, less foam, um <laughs> but at that same time he's making like the yeah the the Jurassic Park T Rex scream as well, like that yeah. whole action scene for me to um I need a hero as well is yeah. just like for me it's one of the greatest animated action scenes I've ever seen. I, I still get pumped up to this day whenever i watch it because it's so so brilliant yeah it's uh it everything just worked out well didn't it like getting the climax the literal climb to to the um the castle just worked really cool and it was sad watching it all unfold when eventually he just got soaked through and just fell back like (laughs) and the gingerbread man jumped off um yeah that was uh that was really cool the whole uh, and like the the dance as well between um prince charming and fiona was a bit like oh uh, you know creepy again (laughs) yeah another cringe moment but yeah i think it was uh like very cliche ending as well um i was saying this to the person i was watching it we were like it's not a shrek film unless there's a big musical number at the end right (laughs) Just for, for no reason. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I think I think the ending um, yeah wraps it up nicely. But now that I've seen Shrek three, I I'm happy that I've seen Shrek three. At least okay. watch it once. All right, mm. I might give it a crack because it kind of like answers a few questions like I had at the end. Like, what happens to Prince Charming now? What happens to uh, the the kingdom? You know, you know, if you want to expand that universe just a little bit more um, and add some cool characters um from other fairy tales so um that was really cool and see. does it get any cooler than puss in boots though i mean puss in boots is still in it so i don't know if you want to see justin timberlake i do well. i do love that i've because i've only seen the first two like they just stand in my memory as mm. two of the strongest animated films of all time and there's nothing to taint that like yeah um you know finding nemo is is you know a masterpiece as well and you have finding yeah, Dory, I... which is a relatively good film but like I we, I, it. I went most of my life feeling like the world of Nemo is this magical place, and nothing um, can uh, convince me otherwise. And then you see Dory, like, oh, okay, that was that was pretty good. Um, so as a whole, the like the the idea of, of finding Nemo and finding Dory is, is just brought down that little bit. Do you know what I mean? Um, so mm. it's, it's, it doesn't, you know, Dory doesn't detract <laughs> from the film of Nemo in any way, but just my collective love for the whole. Yep is brought down a bit and i'm scared that that might happen if i'm to watch shrek the yeah. third and it's I why i didn't watch creed 2 for such a long time because the first creed is one of my favorite films of all time i'm like ah, oh, like some people tell mm-hmm. me to watch it some people tell me not to and i'm just like ah, oh, is watching it gonna make me fall less in love with the franchise as a whole yeah i know um, what you mean and I, I i watched it eventually and i thought that was that was pretty pretty good um but it's got nothing on the first film yeah um and look, I can still love that, those original films as much as I, I yeah. did before watching the sequels. But I don't know, just my—I suppose it just affects my collective love, and I, yeah. I don't like that. I, you Put know. it this way: uh, ha- you, we love Uncharted one, two, and three, right? And so when Uncharted four was announced, I was like, they, "Do I really need number four? Because the trilogy is a nice, you know, one, two, three, middle, uh, front, middle, and end." But then we've all played Uncharted four, and it was great. It was worth it. Um, oh, I'd say, it's, I'd say it's the best Uncharted. Really? Wow. The best definitely. Uncharted. Definitely, definitely. Better than 2. Better than 2. <sighs> two is great. It's got all the same highs as 2. The combat's better. Mm. And you don't have any sci-fi bullshit as well. Um, yeah. <laughs> 
that's my thoughts on Uncharted. But anyway, um, before Shrek, we Shrek two, yeah, Shrek two. Before we close it out though, just yeah. favorite favorite moments from from both Shrek Shrek one and Shrek Shrek two. Scott, I'll go to you first. What what jumps out to you is like the the most memorable moments the f- from Shrek the first or the first Shrek film. I get it's it's Flakwad in bed with the the mirror in front of him. And it's kind of that Bachelorette style <laughs> music he's playing. It's Snow White. And the so subtle just erection lives- that happens as yes. well. <laughs> she li- he lives with seven men, but she ain't easy. You know. Like, yeah. ah! watch, um, watch it back, Jason. There's like a, a bit of the blanket near Farquaad's crotch, like rises when he goes, wow. "Show me, show me again, mirror." And then it's like the mirror does the, you know, shows Princess Fiona. And then he's holding the cocktail in one hand. Then he sort of like pulls his sheet up and like realizes, oh, hang on, naughty me yeah. sort of thing. I did it. Oh like my God. Watch, you watch hilarious. the blanket I'm gonna moves. Up the blanket wow. Moves. Wow. <laughs> I don't know if I want to. And Shrek 2, <laughs> like there's two that come out to me. One is because of you, Bailey. Now, every time I answer a call from mom, I answer it by going, mother. Yes. I'm just like, it's just yes. because of you now. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's it's, it's, it's a bit where yeah, Shrek and Donkey leaving. have just trashed yeah, the yeah. factory. And he walks in. And he walks, he bursts in the door. <laughs> he's like, mother. <laughs> That's how I call out to my mum every single time. It's just a one word. It's not even a quote. It's just a one one word line that has stuck with me for, God, yeah. 17 years at this point. Yeah. yeah. Jason, uh, I want to hear in uh, chat as well. Your favourite your favorite? moments from Shrek 1 and 2. Just let us know. But Jason, yeah. what, what are yours? Probably not the favorite, but one one moment I absolutely love in Shrek One is three. Pick number three, my lord. <laughs> three, my lord. <laughs> Still brilliant, man. Still brilliant. Oh my god. Um, yeah, and number two, I'm struggling to think of a few. I think because I've watched Shrek One over and over and over again. But yeah, um, I don't know. Um, if I will a special mention to the Simpsons when um. They um when the receptionist at the um the potion factory is like we don't even have a dental plan immediately I was like dental plan <laughs> <laughs> I love that moment it's like we're from the union he's like and he like turns the microphone away as he's talking <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they don't even have dental all right we're gonna take a look around <laughs> <laughs> just like any other union join your <laughs> unions if you can. I have a special mention to the like the Joan Rivers esque when everyone's rocking up. It's like, oh, it's Sleeping Beauty. Yeah. So I <laughs> looked at the... I forgot about that. Yes. Brilliant. I was looking at the um at the uh the list, the cast is what you call it, and that's she's just credited as Joan Rivers. <laughs> the character is Joan Rivers. The character is just Joan Rivers. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Also, it's like Tom Thumb and Thumbelina, and then I get swept up into the, <laughs> <laughs> up the breakups. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, yeah, oh, uh, what's uh, that all about anyway <laughs> <laughs> when uh, doggies are stallion his first interaction with fiona i can't remember the, the quote line after she's like we're sexy <laughs> <laughs> fantastic moment i think um oh man I, I'm gonna have to pick, in the chat there thanks Tuggy. i'm gonna have to pick um a couple of moments from from shrek too because it's, it's so damn good again just just lines that I would never say that they're quotes, but they're just delivered so well. And one is John Cleese when Shrek and Fiona first step out of the carriage when they arrive in Far, Far Away. And Fiona's like, oh, man. Fiona's like, look, mum and dad look happy to see us. And John Cleese goes, who on earth are they? <laughs> just like this dumbfounded look on his face. <laughs> And then, I love that. And then the I queen's love, like, like, I think that's our little girl. That's not little. That's a really big problem. <laughs> <laughs> I love it whenever movies or shows or stuff do that whole switching between characters. Amazing. But they're finishing, they're finishing each other's sentences. Yeah. I love that. It's just so cool. Oh, I, what a good I movie. I love that bit as well where Fiona's like, um, Fiona's you know, telling Shrek as they're walking closer to, to the parents saying, um, uh, uh, Shrek's like, oh no, they, they locked you in a castle, and Fiona's like, they did that for my own good. But then they cut to, <laughs> they cut to the king and the queen, and John, the king goes, good, let's go back inside and pretend that we're not home. <laughs> so you're right there. Oh man, so many great moments. Yeah, I, I'm thinking also about the um, uh, is it the poison apple? The name of the um, the the pub 
that uh, uh, yeah. that oh. King goes to to obviously get um, Puss in Boots services as well. So many fantastic references in there as well. Um, mm. Where he, uh, <laughs> John Cleese is like, I'm looking for the ugly stepsister. <laughs> the barmaid <laughs> turns around as the total dude cross dresser. He's like, Ah, there you are. <laughs> so that, many. Uh, do you know who the voice of that is? Uh, the the barmaid. Yeah. No, who's that? It's Larry King. Oh wow. That's yeah. awesome. <laughs> Larry King is the uh, uh, the ugly sister. which in number three, they finally give her a name. It's Doris. All oh, right. There you go. Yeah. 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 And yeah. I have to say, just the, yeah, um, I need a hero number at the end. Like, it gets me hyped every time. Uh, and I think, to judge my earlier point, I just want to reiterate, one of the best animated action scenes I've ever seen. Um, mm. Yeah. 2004. It delivered. Oh. Uh. Any Twiggy final thoughts Chet. on on Shrek? Uh, Callie said, uh, "Twiggy, I like uh, charming, charming getting, getting the battle, the battle axe. axe with his medi." Again, so many like that moment as well, where um, Fairy Godmother's like, "You're <laughs> gonna make me do something I really don't want to do." And he's like, "What? Where are we? What?" <laughs> 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 and, and then like the, the the window rolls down, and they're at the um, they're at the takeaway store, and she's like, yeah. oh, "Diet is ruined. I hope you're happy." <laughs> So yeah, I think we're all guilty of doing that once again. Yeah, fuck it. I don't care. Yeah. Ordering nuggets. I'm probably going to have to go to Macca's after this now just because I'm feeling like it. Anyway, uh, can't forget the axe. Uh, when I say I want a boy toy at McDonald's, that is what I mean. Um, oh, yes, yeah. yes. And this comes with your medieval meal. Hands in the axe. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So good. Uh, anyway, that is Shrek and Shrek 2. Um, they're both on, I think, Netflix and Stan. So as long as you have one of those services, you can rewatch them to your heart's mm. content, which uh, right. we highly encourage that you do. Uh,